Hey everybody, it's your friend Kevin, and today is Saturday the 12th of November 2022. Um, I'm going to get right to the cards. I've got a lot to do today, but I have a funny feeling these little cards are going to bring me a message, bring you a message. I hope you're well. hope all that's going on in your life is good. Right, let's get right to it. Okay, so we are using uh, Radley Valentine's Archangel Sword of Light Oracle deck with the images by Echo Chernick. I like to give credit to people, as I've said before. A lot of work goes into these cards, as I understand. All right. Angels, ancestors, higher ones, light workers, anyone who wishes to come forward, thank you for being with all of us today, the 12th of November, 2022. Please bring us a card that will lift us up, lighten us up, brighten us up, and bring me a message for the card for everybody out there. Whoop, that one wants to come up and say hello. There we go. All right, what's it say? Angels of healing are with you. Mm, interesting. Well, that makes sense to me. I don't know if it makes sense to you. Oh, and I just got a message. At <clears throat> a time of healing is about to bless your life. Except Archangel Raphael's emerald green light while I enhance your strength. So what I love about this card, it is obviously um, probably best if I, well, let's go to the other camera and show you up close and personal. There is in this image a caduceus right over the top of a heart and then right in front of it is Archangel Michael's Sword of Light. So really what this is saying is today, I would say, everything comes from the matter of the heart. How we feel, what we feel. And you know, yesterday the card came up about your thoughts, or one day this week, I remember, there isn't really an accident that these things pop up and the messages that come through the divine. But I would say in a time of disruption, which we're in, there's an element of fear that comes up with the masses. And emotions such as fear such as love, that's really the two emotions. They gather and attract their various followers. There's the followers of fear, telling you not to trust the love, which I believe is all egoic. Then there's the love that expands and feels good. And slowly but surely, the pockets of fear begin to dissipate. So angels of healing are with all of us. Now, let's just say, for example, if you're watching this and you're following this, you're at some point connected to the light or the woo-woo. <laughs> and it's drawing you in and you've got this sense of this is making me feel good. That was me two and a half years ago, right before the... Um, well, pandemonium, I can't really call it anything else than pandemonium. The entire globe, basically, if you can imagine a snow globe, got shook up and everybody was like, "Woo!" Some people couldn't handle the pace and popped up out of their physical bodies that I got to go back to where I know it's safe, which is, in my opinion, heaven. Others of us got charged up. We realized there's something else going on here that we didn't quite understand. And we somewhat got conscious to the fact that there's this power greater than us that's helping us stay rooted. This is what this card is telling me today. Archangel Michael, he who is like God, the biggest archangel there is, blue ray light of protection in front, behind, above, below, left and right, everywhere. Call it in, ask for it. Then Archangel um, Raphael, with the blessings of healing. And that also means healing the heart, healing what you're worried about, healing what you're mm, 
upset about, healing what you really feel like you need some help with. And we all have it, you know. Um, you know, I used to pay my bills once a month. Not for any other reason. Sit down at the beginning of the month, look at all my due dates. Here it went, blah, 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 blah. And I found that to be overwhelming. I found it to be like, woof, all this money going out and working for myself. When people don't sit in my chair, I don't get paid. And then some people would say, sorry, I got a this to do, that to do, got to move to next week. I really just need to do a haircut, can't do the colour. I mean, I was picking up their fear. So it was like, woo, child. And then I began to rely upon the archangels and step into the law of attraction and not put their fears, other people's fears, into me. And then I thought, well, is there a better way to do this? And I would hear over and over again from angels and from spirits and get, you know, evidence. It's okay, we got you. The money's coming, may not be here today, but by the time that bill gets paid, there it comes. And you know, I have to say, it works out. I started doing this. When I get the reminder or the bill in the mail, I would pay it, send it out before the due date, by the due date, whatever that meant. I never worried whether or not the money or the finances would come. I never worried anymore. I just said, angels, take this worry, take this woe, take this burden, heal my heart and thank you for helping me take care of this bill. And slowly I understood, could be a few dollars here, $10, and then it began to expand and expand. The one thing I will say with all this, whenever you feel comfortable, loved, cherished, nurtured, uh, that, that feeling that, oh, you know, you've got this, everything's fine, that's when you're in the presence of angels. So, even if you are not conscious that they're there, kind of think of a time or right now, this minute, close your eyes, put your feet on the floor and think of what you are absolutely positively grateful for. What you know for sure you have been blessed by. Could be a child, a husband, a friend, a cup of tea, piece of toast, food in the fridge. And every single chance you've got, you get, you've got, you have. Be grateful. You got a green light. You got to work quicker than you thought you would. Everything worked out for the highest good. Things are working and coming into place. The minute you find yourself going down the slippery slope of, oh, good Lord, get back up, stand back up. I'm grateful for this little experiment or I'm grateful for this little excursion or I'm grateful for this little detour or I'm grateful for this little whoops-a-daisy because without a whoops-a-daisy, you won't maybe not get to where you're supposed to be. Makes sense. Props not. And sometimes I think of what I'm saying and what I'm putting out there in the world as being a little bit like, well, you know, what are you going to do? I like being here. And I like holding up people who perhaps fell in the ditch and feel like, well, you're covered in mud. Let's get a garden hose and wash you off. It's okay. We'll get you some clean clothes. You're good. All right, my friends, I'm waffling on into Never Never Land. I got a salon to get moved. So I'll be back tomorrow, though. Today, you have a good day. You think about what you're grateful for and you know that the angels of hearing healing are with you. Bye.